Ah. So let's recreate what happened here. We had an ancient rift valley that once the rift was created during Triassic times, there were dinosaurs running around. And we're back in time about uh, something on the scale of about 160 to 200 million years ago. And erosion took place and washed off of the edges of the rift valley and down into the valley itself sand and the sand coalesced into this sandstone. Then the glacier came along, oh, very recently, only about a million years ago, uh, with the first of the four glacial stages here in eastern North America. And the glacier crushed this relatively soft rock. The rest of southern New England is hard, crystalline bedrock. But this stuff is soft, and the glacier freezing and thawing and rubbing rocks into this uh, that were frozen into the glacier, crushed it into the sand that was so abundant in the glacier that when it reached here and the melting water spilled southward and created a great plain, we now call it Long Island, that sand-rich plain is made of this rock from the Great Connecticut Valley, crushed. And the abundance of sand was so much because the sandstone valley of ancient times, of Triassic time, was to the north. So there's a symmetry. The secret of the Pine Barrens is that it's really a, another kind of ghost. It's a reflection geologically of the bedrock of Connecticut. Don't you see? That's great. The bedrock of Connecticut north of the Pine Barrens is sandstone, and the sand of the Pine Barrens that supports this wonderful it's array the sand of, of from that plants stone. is from that sandstone wow. valley that itself was created in the process of opening the Atlantic Ocean and creating the separateness between the continents that we have on the Amazing. global map today.